And welcome back on this Saturday morning. A lovely little village in Arizona. It might be a great place for you to go check out. Francoise Rhodes is here this morning to talk about all her trip, talk about her trip rather, to Tubac, mm -hmm. Arizona. Francoise, great to see you. Thanks hey, for joining Tom, us this morning. Have you been to Tubac? I have not, but oh. the way you describe it, it sounds like a place I'd like to go. It is one of those places, Tom, where you're driving uh, south of Tucson. It's about 40 minutes south of Tucson. You're going Tubac. You see the signs, two of them, two exits, and you keep right on going. Well, you shouldn't. You should stop. It is a beautiful community. There's a village that the uh, year-round residents are about 1,500 people, mm -hmm. but the Tubac Golf Resort and Spa is just amazing. Now, this is the site is actually on an old working ranch that was founded in 1789, mm -hmm. 500 acres, and they still have some pieces of the ranch, part of the ranch house, some of the silos. It's beautiful grounds. It is There's, breathtaking. It, We're looking at some of the pictures the here photos. right now. There's yep. a chapel on site. There's 27 holes, in fact, of golf. Tin Cup was filmed. A lot of Tim, Tin oh, Cup really? was filmed there. Huh. But there's restaurants in the spa, very relaxing, hacienda style. And you mm -hmm. get out there and you think, what am I going to do in Tubac? Okay, I'm here. I'm playing some golf. It's breathtaking, beautiful. You can relax. But yet, there's so much to do right in that one area. Mm -hmm. we, there's kayaking and hiking. and Some of the architecture we're looking at here is beautiful isn't as well. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah, it, it is. Spanish style I there. found a lot of the people I talked to, Tom, they actually went there to stay for just a couple days, ended up buying second homes mm -hmm. or moved down there year-round. Not a whole lot, but some yeah. year-round. Now, within walking distance of the resort, probably half a mile, if that much, is the village of Tubac. And it is really, really a quaint, charming village. No signals, no big box stores, no fast food chains, but restaurants and art galleries and boutiques. It's mm -hmm. just a great place to people watch, hang around, yeah. meet people from all over the world that stop in Tubac because they've heard about it. And then once they've been there once, they always go back. It sounds like it has charm to spare. Oh, plenty yeah. of it. And the people are so friendly and they love you. And it's just, uh, it's about six, six hours and 20 minutes from the Coachella Valley. Driving. A driving, yeah. but definitely worth it because it's a very relaxing drive. You get on the 10 and you follow. Very, very easy to find. And again, and it's a Tubac, T U B A C. A -C. Mm -hmm. okay. Golf resort and spa. And you don't have to play golf. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of retreats there, they have a lot of weddings there. Uh, people just go to get away from the cold weather mm -hmm. and other parts of our nation. It really is a gem. It's one of those hidden gems, again, that you would be driving, see the sign, and go, eh, why would I stop in Tubac? But, but those who do are, are certainly glad, uh, the, glad they stop. did. And uh, apparently we're giving away a, yes. a stay there? We have a two-night stay in a Hacienda-style room. Beautiful, beautiful room. Plus golf for two if you want to play. And uh, if you'd like to sign up, you can go to the website, Traveling with Francoise. The details are there. Or call the number on the screen. The details are on the phone. Leave your name, uh, first, last name, and telephone number. And you'll be entered for a chance to win. And we will draw the winner in probably about um, three weeks or so right here on KSQ. Well, terrific. Uh, the website is TravelingWithFrancoise.com. Mm -hmm. uh, I always enjoy visiting with you off Thank camera. You. And yes. today I finally get the chance to do it on camera. I know. How yeah. fun. We get to talk travel. It is yeah. terrific. Mm -hmm. I always enjoy the work thanks, you do. Tom. All right, thanks for joining us this morning. Sports is coming up next on News Channel 3. The chase for a championship continues for two Valley schools in boys soccer. Find out if Ranch Mirage and La Quinta could take another step toward CIF titles. You're watching KESQ, the desert's news leader.